Hi there, folks. Welcome back to Rich Reviews. I want to thank everyone who's been watching, liking, commenting, subscribing to this channel. Be an active subscriber, folks. Don't just subscribe and do nothing here, folks. So the latest TV show that I'm reviewing here, folks, is a British crime drama called Marcella. And this is created by Hans Rothfeld and Nicholas Flarder. 100% of the episodes are either solely written or co-written by Hans Rothfeld. So this show is on Netflix, I think, or you can find it anywhere you darn well please. Why do you think that we always constantly remake British crime shows? Because, quite frankly, we're too lazy in creating our own crime shows that are any good at all. There's going to be a Luther remake here in the next couple of years with Idris Elba executive producing it, and it'll be probably made for Fox, and it'll probably be canceled in about five episodes. So Marcella Blackland, played by Anna Friel, is drawn back to detective work after her husband, Jason, played by Nicholas Pinnock, leaves her and she goes back to work with no questions asked. No one that says to her, oh, do you mind go going back through her training? She just <laughs> goes back willy-nilly. So Marcella finds herself drawn back to the case in, w in which she left. And that involves a case of a killer that suffocates his victims. And the killer was never caught. Her main suspect is a man named Pierre Cullen, who was eventually convicted for manslaughter. He's currently doing a work probation thing while he's still in prison. He's about to get out, even though he was charged for manslaughter. Only when a high-profile victim by the name of Grace Gibson, who's, I guess, a head, the head of this construction firm or some firm that deals with city planning, if it's found dead, then the case comes higher profile, I guess. Of course, this is one of those shows where it's red herring suspect galore here, folks. Now, the suspects here include a sex worker named Caro who constantly arrests people after having sex with them, and at one point speeds up a person who tries to meet with her. Also, two taxicab immigrants, a man named Jan Hall, who's a boyfriend of a guy who's friends with a murdered victim. And he's a recovering alcoholic, or he's somewhat recovered. Or... Then we have Stuart and his tenant, Bendick. And Bendick is trying to blackmail Stuart here and for his possible involvement in the, sus the suspicious of an MP. Stuart f that eventually comes to find out he's being blackmailed along with Jason, who, who was having an affair with Grace Gibson. Of course, Marcella herself isn't the most reliable <laughs> narrator here. She has very long blackouts, like one of which has her in a tub with blood all over her, and we're all going to have to wonder what exactly happened that night to have her have blood. And then one ha happens to have her blacking out after seeing the body of Grace Gibson, but then be showing her us back in her apartment. She doesn't report it, though, which clearly, you know, again, she's a flawed character, no doubt. But is she a murderer? Who knows? Could there, But then again, could there be two murderers? Who knows as well? After when Marcella finds out about her husband's affair, she beats up his car, which is quite funny. What, what Rosenfeld does well in this series is it gives us a good sprawling mystery, and when you find out who the killer is, you realize... Wow, isn't that particularly interesting? And some of you all might think, that's the killer? Why does that have to be the killer, you know? So we're so used to Law and Order that we don't really see anything else. And we're so used to the episodic episode, we're not used to the overall arcing story of something. There are no white knights here. Again, everyone here is flawed to begin with. But yes, there are really evil people in the world who commit horrible crimes. And their reasoning for committing these evil crimes is never really good, especially... Who really has a good excuse for murdering someone? I don't really know. I think this is one of the better crime shows that people will probably see, although, again, I suspect most people have probably never heard of the series. This is a good little gem in a vast sea of crime stuff that most people don't bother to watch because they don't really care for crime. So, folks, what did you think of Marcella? Did you happen to like it? Did you not care for it at all? Have you seen the series at all? Put that in the subject box below. As always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, and rich yourself with knowledge. I'll see you next time, folks.